Now second in the conference in points per game and in three-point shooting. Backing down right over Hamir Wright. Jordan with passing from the Wildcats. Brown over Hamir Wright. Juan A. Green hunts to three and bangs it. Averaging 14 a game. Kick it up top. Jamal Baker. He's had a couple of monster games. One time seven threes, another eight. Quan A. Green, this is as tough of a shot as they come, and he knocks it down. The quad had no trouble against the bigger Wildcats. How about another for Baker? It's a little different when you have to step up as a complimentary player. Amir did a good job, but when it kind of falls on you to. Right driving gets bodied by Lee up and under. What a move there by Hamir Wright. Wright's 0 for 4 from behind the arc. And good looks. Uh, how many times have we said that this year, Aaron, already? It's the fourth game we've worked and we talked about. Nearing the 12-minute mark, Wildcats doubling up the dog so far. Bay, John Miller wants a double dribble, but it goes through. Led them in points and rebounds in their loss recently. Not that recently at this point to Colorado. Matherin contested three, knocks it down. And you have to do that against Arizona. Brown entry pass. Jordan Brown with Soren on his back, and he's able to kiss it off the glass. Green tucks like a running back and easily puts it off the window. For the Huskies, some early minutes. He struggled for playing time this year. Bay slashing to the hole. What a take and finish by Jamal Bay. Top. Terrell Brown Jr. taking all the way to the rim and finishing. Over assist in the country. Somebody else that hasn't doesn't have that many stats might be technically number one. But he's got 30 assists, three turnovers, and again. Nine in the loss to Stanford. Kinjo pretty pass. And it's put through by Dalen Terry, and he bricks it. Battle, corner three, and it's able to touch almost. Well, we jinxed him, but the two good offensive possessions in a row. They got an open three in transition, and they got a, a breakaway off the steal. Tabellas, who just checked in. He's going to be a really good player. Again, still young guy, just still adjusting. Stevenson to the rim. Matherin about the block pulls up over Robert. Percent from the floor so far tonight. Yeah, they've done a much better job. The zone is not as good as it was last year. I mean, right, good take. Raquan Battle, little scoop. Soren trying to clean it up, and it's blocked from behind. Coloco. Sophomore out of Cameroon. Akinjo transition three drains it. Shots. He's got to pick and choose a little bit better when he attacks the rim. Akinjo the lob and the finish. Matherin on the other end. Akinjo, and that's an impressive finish by Ben Matherin. Akinjo, the Pac 12's third leading assist man. As Stevenson left his feet, didn't know where it was going. Baker to Ira Lee. Power dribble taken on Soar. Finishing. I was Something about a tuxedo? Yes. I'm glad it still fits for Matt. Matt looks like he can still play. I'll tell you. Green comes up with a loose ball. Green in transition. 80% from the field, over 40 from three. And the quality of the shots that he has to take, that's really impressive. Green pulls up just outside the elbow. He's got 13 now tonight. We've seen more than we're accustomed to this year for the Huskies. Yeah, he had a number of games early on where he did not get on the floor. Pretty spin, and he puts it through at the rim. Good touch pass Brown over right. No wants to run. You see him and Terrell Brown, they want to push the ball. Look out. Kenjo. Good finger roll finish. Yeah. 52 30. Coloco. Easy. Chucks it up. 
Here comes Quade Green. A prior for three. And he got it. His first points tonight. We got a lot of players from the Metro League, one of the best competitive basketball leagues in the country, high school basketball. And Brown pulls up and hits it. Offense. Yes. When they get some offense from other people other than Quade Green, that makes a huge difference. And battled 19 points in 21 minutes in that game. So Vallis now with eight. Green will try it again. That was good offense right there. They pushed the ball up the floor. Good pass by Pryor. Returned the favor. Back to man to man. So much for that 2 3 zone. Brooks knocks down the long jump. What you think of as an offensive rebound? And here's another possession for the Wildcats. Baker. Long three. Was there only four players uh, have, have, have done that? I don't know there'd be a quiz involved in the second half. Right. Falls to Ira Lee in a fresh 20 seconds. The offensive rebounds continue for the Wildcats. Triple flushed. You have a really good defensive team. Both these teams normally, uh, you, you don't have as many possessions in the game because of the quality of their defense. Brown fades away. Tough shot. Think about it. The seniors or grad transfers say, well, you know, they're not going to get a chance to go to, to go to the tournament this year, but they both might come back. Those that you talked about that nine man rotation those four players coming off the bench for Sean Miller are very very good players. What a finish for for Arizona. Lee. I release. Uh, that's what I release doing coming off the bench for Sean Miller. That one goes through as well. Quite green has come alive even more in the second half again. Uh, a lot of length all night uh, for Nate uh, Nate Roberts to go against with this team. Oh, there's a beautiful look right there. Got to get out of the lane, yeah. big guy. Two-hand flush. Wow. That'll work. 2020 could not end any better for the Wildcats. We got one coach's son finding another coach's son right there. Under 10 seconds to go. Arizona comes to Seattle and has more than a convincing win. Arizona improves to 8-1 and one on the season.